going on guys? It's the Mad Dragon. So the Six Nations is over. It has been a crazy tournament. Some real outrageous decisions and calls and games happening and results coming in that none of us saw coming. So if you remember a couple of weeks before the Six Nations actually began, before all the teams have even been announced, I actually went and did like a predictions video where I went through all the games that were going to be happening over the Six Nations and picking who I thought was going to win purely based off of how teams performed last year and at the Autumn Nations Cup. Uh, I'm sure I'm probably wrong on all of them, but I thought it'd be fun to go back through those original predictions, see how many I got right, see how many I got wrong, probably more than <laughs> unless I got wrong. So what we'll do is we'll go through round by round, having a look at the picks I made, and then having a look at the correct scores and see how many I got right. So starting off with round one. So the first game, Italy versus France. I was pretty convinced it was going to be a France win there, as I'm sure a lot of us were going to be. England, Scotland. I also called it to be an, a win to England there. I assumed after a Six Nations win and an Autumn Nations Cup, they'd be reveling in coming back for the Six Nations. And finally, the Wales versus Ireland game. Wales not looking very good last year. Ireland looking like they were going to bring a really good team to this Six Nations. So I went for an Ireland win. So the actual results, uh, France, of course, did manage to get that win against Italy, as I'm sure we probably saw coming. We had that brilliant Calcutta Cup game where Scotland managed to come out of nowhere and just really take control of that game. So Scotland beat England. So I'm wrong on that one. And then, of course, the Wales-Ireland game, the first red card of the tournament. Uh, <laughs> that started all sorts of comments about red cards being in the game, but it was absolutely brilliant. A fantastic game. Glad I was wrong about that one but I did get two out of the three wrong here for round one round two a couple of big games here uh, so the first game England versus Italy I called an England to win that one Scotland versus Wales I think I Yes, I picked Wales to win that one over Scotland, although I think I'm pretty sure I said there would be a losing bonus point in there for Scotland. And then Ireland versus France, I thought that France would take that one. So looking at the actual results, uh, England did beat Italy 41-18. to It was Italy's best scoring game was against England in that round, but England did come away with a win. Scotland versus Wales, the second red card scenario where Wales managed to win by a point. They only just managed to scrape by Scotland. Scotland were looking really good this Six Nations. It was really nice to see the step up for them really doing well. So I also got that one correct, though. And finally, Ireland versus France. France managing to win that game by two points. Uh, of course, that was a really close game. That was just forwards fighting each other. So in round two, I actually got all three of them correct. That's probably going to be the best I'm going to do. It's probably all downhill from here. As we move on to round three, I remember round three being particularly bad in the fantasy league. So these are probably going to be much worse. Uh, so Italy versus Ireland, I called a... Ireland win here. Wales versus England. I assumed England were going to do really well uh, in this Six Nations, so I think I picked England to win here. And finally, France versus Scotland. I assumed Scotland would maybe drift off by about this point, maybe a couple of injuries, and we saw the depth of the France squad in the Autumn Nations Cup, even beating Scotland in the Autumn Nations Cup. So I called a France win here, and I can already reckon I'm going to be very wrong. Uh, so starting at the top, Ireland, Italy. Yep, we were correct there. I think, unfortunately for Italy, I think I went against Italy in every single round for this one. Wales versus England. Of course, I got completely wrong. Uh, Wales having a fantastic game getting their record win over England, getting the bonus point for tries. That was a fantastic game. Uh, I got that one wrong. I'm glad I got that one wrong. Uh, <laughs> and then finally, France versus Scotland, the game that got delayed uh, for five weeks or however long it got delayed for. It was the game they played afterwards. France, right at the end, right at the end, decided to lose that game. Scotland playing very well. Good game management, even with the yellow and red card scenarios. Scotland managing to win that game. So I was eventually wrong with that one. So I only got one out of three correct here as well. So round one and three, not looking good for me. So <laughs> let's uh, check out round four. Round four, Wales versus Italy. I definitely will have picked a Wales win here. Uh, England versus France. I believe I picked a France win here. Uh, I thought before the tournament started, this would go on to be a France Grand Slam. Of course, that didn't happen eventually. So I definitely picked France to win that one. And then Scotland versus Ireland. I picked Ireland to win that one. So the actual results coming in, Wales 48-7 to beating Italy pretty convincingly, so that one was always going to be correct. England managing to get the win over France with that Atoje try right at the end. I forgot about that one, yes. So England won that game, uh, so I was wrong there. And then finally, Scotland versus Ireland, only three points in it, 27-24. to Ireland did manage to win that game. I actually did a breakdown video for that one, if anyone wants to go check that out on how Ireland managed to win that one. So round four, I got two out of the three correct. 
And the final round, as it should have been, not that it was the final round, because of course we had that delayed game, but round five, starting off at the top, Scotland versus Italy. Uh, I'm pretty sure I had Scotland pegged down to win this one. I think I said Italy were going to lose every single one this year. Ireland versus England. Again, I was expecting England to have a really good tournament this year, and they just didn't turn up for it at all. Uh, so I think I picked an, an England win there. And then finally, France versus Wales. Uh, I thought France were going for the Grand Slam, so I think I picked France for, to win that one. Uh, in terms of actual results, Scotland 52 to 10 against Italy. So that was a big game, wasn't it? That was the Duhan van der Merve double try that we got to see. Having a fantastic game in there. They really sort of began to run over Italy. And that one is a real shame. I thought that was maybe the strongest Italy team. Didn't manage to overcome that. Ireland versus England. Uh, yeah, where were England in that game? Ireland absolutely in control for that one. Um, they played really, really well. I believe there's quite a few Irish players in my uh, team of the week for that one. So Ireland managed to win that one 32 to 18. I didn't actually realise the score was quite that high. So I was wrong on that one. And then finally, the Grand Slam potential decider. France managing to just steal that game away. The Corey Hill... Crashing the ball, sealing over the top. It was such a shame to see. It was so painful to go back and do the breakdown video for that one. But France, of course, did come away with that win with Dulan getting that final try in that game. So I was correct on that one, even though I wish I wasn't. So I got two out of three on that one. So the best round for me was round two in terms of the predictions. Obviously, I had no idea how this was going to go. There were a couple of comments on the uh, on the original video, people saying, "Ah, oh, you got that call wrong. Or how did you mess up that one? How did you not know Scotland were going to be in great form by round four it's like the video was out two months before <laughs> I had no idea what was going to happen um so over the course what we got here so i got nine out of the 15 games correct uh so what's that do some quick maths in my head that's about 60 percent uh, which isn't the best. <laughs> I actually thought it was going to be lower. Um, I didn't think I'd done very well with these predictions. At all. But there you are, 60%. That's not terrible. So when it comes around to next year, I'll do another one of these videos and uh, we can see if we can beat 60% on the predictions. Finally, we will take a look at the actual table that I said it was going to finish at. So here's the final table that I thought it was going to end at. Of course, I had France up there with that Grand Slam and the Grand Slam bonus that gave me a few extra points. I was expecting England to do pretty well. Ireland coming in a solid third. I thought Wales would have a better year than they did last year, which of course they did. Uh, a much better year. <laughs> I, gave them, I didn't give them enough credit. Uh, I thought we'd see Scotland down there in fifth. I wasn't really expecting the step up they got to bring with there. And of course Italy in that last place, as I'm sure an awful lot of us probably expect them to be now. Uh, so in terms of positions in the table, uh, I got two right. I got Ireland to come in third, which is correct. In fact, I was only one point off. That's not terrible. I picked Ireland to have 14 points at the end of the tournament. They actually ended on fifth so I was pretty close. I was pretty close with that one. Uh, and then, of course, Italy, unfortunately, on nothing. Uh, which is a bit of a shame for Italy. Uh, but yeah, mixing it up all round. Of course, Wales managed to get that win. France coming in second. England down there in fifth. Uh, which I don't think they would be expecting at all. I believe there's been a couple of big talks around Eddie Jones keeping his job. I'm sure he will. I mean, you know, it's a bad year for them. Um, they'll come up with some new plans. But well done to Wales on winning their Six Nations, doing very, very well. Um, I do have a couple more videos I want to do uh, about the Six Nations. Of course, I want to do my team of the tournament. I'm still trying to work out uh, who I think was best in that one. And then finally, maybe a Lions team based on this Six Nations. So of course, I'll remove any Italy or France players that I have in my team of the tournament. Um, but there'll be videos I'll be doing later on in the channel. So what do you guys think? Did any of you write down any of your predictions before the tournament? Make sure you drop it down in the comments how many you got right, what sort of percentages you've got. I genuinely don't know if anyone will have. It's quite hard to keep track of. It took me like 20 minutes just to go and find these original slides from my from my original video. But hopefully everyone enjoyed. And if you do want to keep up to date with some of the rugby channel's news, make sure you subscribe to the channel just to keep up to date with all the videos as they come out. I hope you've all enjoyed today, guys. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.